Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the Premier League review for the entire week. Yeah, we had actually quite some stuff happening uh, there uh, with makeup games, uh, pull ahead games because of Club World Cups and a full round minus one game. So yeah, Burnley meanwhile many many points behind which gets me straight to the point despite me wearing Magic United who sneakily had a rather good week one has to say. Uh, even with some missed holes, but overall a good week. But with Burnley falling that behind in, in games played and Newcastle and Norwich suddenly picking up points and the pace, one wonders is the great escape on. Hmm, I will see about that. Uh, I will comment a little bit and of course all more details statistically you will of course find in the stats because I also realized that um, I have been last year on a real uh push to get a few more different colored premier league teams in and i have uh now some yellow teams although both both of these were kind of gifts slash exchanges uh and now they're all hanging here together <laughs> go figure in any case uh we also have uh you know t the top four race to get where united to do is, is heating up and then the teeny teeny questions will there be a title race We'll talk about that as well. Uh, we gotta start, uh, you know, round 24, when we'll come back to that slide <laughs> relatively soon. Uh, kicked off with Brighton 1 uh, 1 against Chelsea, where Ziyech, after scoring the go ahead head goal, was the unhappiest man ever to score a goal, seem seemingly. I think Brighton probably would have deserved more out of the game, and you had real worries about Chelsea at this point. Um, the game, I would say, of the entire week, though, was the one happening in uh, Leicester, where uh, uh, Spurs wasting chances left and right. Uh, I mean, I think it, it was far was even at, at, the, at the beginning, but then Spurs, especially through Harry Kane, started missing one chance after after another with the first real shot on goal, Patson Ducker. And it was a bit lucky because, I mean, the ball was cleared towards him, makes it a uh, 1 0 for uh, Leicester. Uh, and then uh, Harry Kane finally pulls puts one, one, one away in the third or the eighth, although he probably should, should have scored at least one more, I would say. Then second, but it was a very, very entertaining game. Then second half, uh, again, it kind of was even, then it tilted towards Spurs, who again starting to miss some chance, chance but a nice uh, attack by, uh, over Harry Barnes and uh, Madison see Leicester take the lead and I'm thinking um, yes I will I, I don't mind Leicester winning that one but fair it is not because Spurs really would have deserved at least a point out of that Steven Bergman come, 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 comes on and kind of with the last gap you thought that uh, you know the stoppage time was pulled pull, pull, pull down I think it was four or, uh, four or five minutes last gasp um, cross in Stephen Bergwijn uh, puts it away. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's fully deserved. And then off the kickoff, uh, it was Tielemans who kind of stupidly lose, lose the ball and Spurs immediately go into the car counter and Harry Kane plays it onto Bergwijn who gets the deserved winner. And what a game that was. I mean, it was already really entertaining the whole way through and I actually preferred that than whatever was happening at the same time at the AFCON, although I had a second screen. But I actually made a real effort to watch this game because I knew this is gonna be, a, this could, could be a very interesting one. I really want to see Spurs again because under, under, under Antonio Conte they are quite entertaining and entertaining they proved to be. So big, big win for Spurs, albeit it was not to last for uh the entire week uh brentford against manchester united was one of the weird games where probably in the first half brentford should have taken the lead could have taken the lead uh but then united turned uh turned and turned on and alanga and greenwood um make it two nil then the big one cristiano coming off not no not, not being happy but running basically almost father like coming to him and say you know if you're a coach, you will understand me. I, I understand well how you're feeling. Rashford making three three, and there's only one goal pulled back. So uh, kind of uh, Brentford were not happy with the way the game went. But, you know, uh, kind of a big win for man managed that in the top four race with Spurs also winning. The Burnley-Watford game got called off already for the second time. 
Coming in, into this weekend, I, an underrated big clash happened on Friday evening. I only saw highlights, but I wish I would have ac actually watched it. But I, I, I was quite busy with other things, uh, to be honest. But Watford Norwich, huge re relegation battle. Uh, I would argue if Watford would have won that one, um, they probably would look rather safe-ish, but it was Norwich who came away. It was uh, even battle for most of the time with Watford actually missing quite a few chances but it turned on the goal in the 51st minute and I think there was a way where um, I think there was a huge stoppage time at one, at one point the lights went out it, it was a really 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 weird game but uh, Josh Sargent scoring an absolute miracle goal with Pukki scraping the ball just off the line and then he uh, Scorpion kicks it into the top corner Having seen uh, Sergeant and Werder Bremen, and I mean the Rashids are also from, from Bremen. What's ha happening? One Bremen place going, 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 going to Norwich in a way. But having seen him there, I never thought he could score a wonder goal like that. And then he scores even the second one after a cross from Rashica. And that basically put Norwich playing in an unusual red, but I understand it a lot for playing in yellow at home, uh, in a, a big advantage then uh, more trouble uh, yellow red for Walt for then a very long on an own goal for Kuchko really not looking good for Ranieri's side at this very very moment and you really really want at this point Norwich maybe maybe just maybe but that goal by uh, Josh Sar Sargent a miracle goal in many many ways um, I actually wanted to I actually tried to watch Everton Aston Villa I did most of the time but I have to have to say it was not a great game uh, when Dia with a great header gives Aston Villa the breakthrough just before the half but I gotta say second half it just fizzled so out of the, uh, the one didn't one team didn't want to the other one couldn't in, in any way although Everton ended up at the beginning stages of second half had maybe a few chances, but it was not a great game. Uh, I gotta say, United, I watched the end of that game between West, West United and all I can say, uh, even battle, but the bench basically won that for United. Uh, being able to bring on uh, big players uh, played a huge uh, part. I mean, you can bring on a Cavani, you can bring on a Marcel, and you can, of course, bring on a Rashford. And then at the very end, uh, Cristiano, I think, plays it out to Cavani, who then crosses into Rashford. Uh, it was a hint of offside, maybe, at first, but when you see the replay, it was definitely not offside. Neither Cavani nor, nor Rashford. And another huge win for United there, because that one is one that actually, I've, I would claim eliminates West Ham him United anyway had some trouble with injuries already and then uh, with Arsenal Burnley being called off uh, it was Southampton a City that have been pulled into the late spot and Walker Peters gives Southampton a lead and Southampton were fighting valiantly however Laporte gets an equalizer and then you know potentially they should have won that one but City not winning a game is huge news and the whole league is saying are they now gonna fall I don't think so. However, uh, Liverpool, who also have a game in hand on City, uh, get the win at Crystal Palace with a little bit of contention because, you know, uh, it was 2-0 uh, at the half. Edouard pulls one back and then uh, was it a penalty foul on Jota? It took forever to find that, uh, to figure that one out. Fabinho converts the penalty, but I got to say this was maybe a little bit contentious. Leicester City only getting a point against Brighton, uh, who again keep on piling on the points, and then it was all about Chester Spurs, Chel Chester Spurs, <laughs> Chelsea's uh, Spurs, where I actually Chelsea did not have a good meeting. One what against Brighton, probably uh, were lucky in the end, and Spurs had this big come comeback, riding high. But again, whenever those to meet, there's only one winner, and it's Chelsea. Yes, there was a goal scored by Harry Kane, where if he hadn't had the arm on Thiago Silva, uh, probably would have, it would have stood as a good goal. Uh, but it was very little from Spurs in the second half. I mean, just as big as Ziyech, with a wonderful strike, makes it 1-0, and Thiago Silva has it in 2-0 uh, ball game. There is not, not more happening there. Spurs just couldn't find that next gear. And that uh, is honestly a little bit disappointing. I think it's the first uh, league defeat now for Conte, uh, in, uh, for Conte, for Spurs, as a Spurs manager. But I gotta say, I mean, and the game wasn't all that great uh, as well. I mean, 
I expect a little bit more, but Chelsea thoroughly deserved that win. Uh, and didn't have to really do much uh, for it. It would have been really interesting if that Harry Kane goal stood. But to me, that actually means that uh, Chelsea, in a way, is too good for the rest of the league, except for Liverpool and Manchester City. There's a clear distinction, and Chelsea kind of occupies the space in between, probably touching with Liverpool. I think that all the level CD is a level above. And there's the rest, and then there's a the middle, and then there's the very bottom. That could be interesting. Uh, very briefly, uh, the upcoming games. I mean, we had already Brighton Chelsea. I told you we can almost see this again. Um, uh, so this is after this little international break that we're going to have. Uh, if I look at it, City have to play Brentford, United against Burnley. All not that exciting. I mean, uh, Norwich and Crick. I mean, for Norwich, the break is now coming at a, a rather bad point. I'm interested in Spurs, Southampton. That could be an interesting one. It's a midweek round. Um, and then Liverpool, Leicester, and uh, Wolves, Arsenal probably are interesting game. But it's not one that really, really sticks out in any way. Um, and as I said briefly on the table, I uh, just want to comment at the moment. It's still Manchester City very much, but a 10% chance for Liverpool. Yep, 10%. Very, very uh, minor who have two games in hand on Chelsea and one game in hand on Manchester City. So, so they could close the gap. The top four battle is the one that's really interesting, but it's uh, United, Arsenal, Spurs, with Spurs having the upper hand because having many, have, have, having a few games in hand. And since we talk about on the bottom, Norwich is out of the rele relegation zone still because of the rating. You would not fancy them at the moment. What for the Norwich are the teams that are odds on to move down? I actually would think that Newcastle will could move out. The big question is, of course, will Everton be dragged into the, the relegation fight? That is one that I... They could get implicated, but at the moment, I think of the four that are on the bottom, I just call Everton out now. Newcastle is the one that is, to me, most likely to make up the escape, although Burnley with so many games in hand and only 38% chance. But, you know, it will be a tight schedule and Burnley is not used to that. So that's why I think um, it will be Newcastle. Just barely escaping richest team in the world. So yeah, that was it for me from the Premier League. It was an exciting round that I actually watched a whole lot. I actually find uh, I find more enjoyment with the Premier League than other leagues uh, at this point. And anyway, if you have to add anything, please drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might actually enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell. So in order to get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe.